So he's got something pretty big. He says, sound like a bomb. That killed somebody, dude. That gun, I was doing some scuba diving down there, trash cleanup, and I came across a pistol. Depths of history, nothing can hide from me. Living beneath the sea, we can find anything. In the depths of history, scuba dive in the water out the boat. Big surprise, watch another episode. Found a car and a gun in the night. Guess that underwater living ain't right. Diamonds and some pearls and a couple girls. Looking underwater is a different world. Rockstar life, gotta dive in. Come alive in the depths of history. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. Today, I am with none other than my friend, Bobby. How we doing? Now, Bobby, we've been diving together a couple times and have found some crazy stuff. I feel like Bobby's my good luck charm because last time, what did we find? Well, I don't know if that's good luck. Found a mortar. <laughs> uh, but we found a mortar last time, but I don't know. I think that's, that's one of some, the... And some guns. Yeah, and some and guns. And some guns. So that was, uh, that was a crazy day of us finding, you know, treasure. And today, that is what we're going to be doing. We've got a bridge over here that I've never scuba dived. Um, it's right next to this park over here. And uh, it's a nice little spot. So we're going to go ahead and get the tanks, get down to the water, and hopefully see what we can find. Also, guys, I do have kick live streams going on right now. If you would like to check it out, I'm going to have a link in the description below. Uh, be sure to check it out, follow us, and be sure to put the notification bell on so that you can catch a new live stream. Let's get into the video and see what we can get. If you guys remember a while back, my YouTube channel was hacked and I wasn't able to get back into my accounts. This leads me to today's sponsor. Have you ever Googled yourself and were shocked to see your personal information exposed on one of those public listing sites? Data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to robocallers, spammers, and others who want to learn about you, like where you live. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. Aura can definitely identify data blockers exposing your info and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if asked them to, but they make sure it's super hard to do. Let Aura handle it for you. You can try Aura free for two weeks using my link. Aura also does so much more to protect you and your family from online threats that you can't see. Let Aura do the hard work and keep you safe online so you can focus on other tasks with peace of mind. You can either let people continue to exploit profit off your private information, or you can go to Aurora.com with my link to start your two-week free trial. You can go to Aurora.com using my link to start your two-week free trial. Also linked below in the description. About ready there, huh? All right, about ready, yeah. Put on the weight belt, making sure everything's not gonna fall off. No. Yeah. You want this club? Oh no, I'm good. Right now, down to the boat ramp. Who knows, there could be cars down there if it's deep enough, so we're gonna dive that, and then we're gonna make our way over to the bridge, as you can see, so it's gonna be a good dive. Good viz. Ready, Bobby? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it's cold. Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really cold. I told you. You did tell me. I'm used to it now. This is the Chattahoochee in the winter time. Yeah. In the middle of December. Pretty sure I came here earlier, Barbie. Or uh, Barbie. What? <laughs> I got the pink tank. Is that why? Is that why? I got the pink tank. <laughs> Must be. <laughs>
Got Britton in the water. Currently I have no idea what he's found yet, but did see him walk all the way down here. So we'll see what they can get, what they found. Stay tuned. You found anything? I beached myself. You did? Look at this. What? What is that? A bomb. <laughs> You got a leg and two golf balls? Yep. What do you get? A weird piece of plastic. That's it. There's really hardly any trash stuff, sticks and stuff, but it's all basically sand. There's, I found these piled up in some sticks. Well, good stuff, bud.
Britain supposedly says he found a bomb over there. He's struggling to get over here. So he's got something pretty big. He says, it sounds like a bomb, but I don't know. It sounds like a bomb. And it's big. Oh my goodness. Buddy went treasure hunting. That killed somebody, dude. That gun, that gun is hot. Look at it, it's got tape on it. I have no idea what this thing is, dude. Copper on this end? Oh, is it just like a little, yeah, I shouldn't have taken that all the way over here, man. That was wearing me out. Is that a regular gun? Yeah, yeah, oh my gosh, it's a. That's what they've at least told me to do, keep it in water. After That's finger, crazy. After my fingerprints just got on it. <laughs> That's great. Come on, Bobby. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, you touched it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You handed it to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, at least they'll be able to know that, you know, we were the ones that found it, so. Nah. I don't even think that'll be I don't think it'll be a problem, but. They're not going to find anything on that. Besides maybe yeah, the serial all, number. It's all taped. Yeah, the yeah. serial number probably will come back. Probably stolen. We'll see if it's stolen or not. Hi there, uh, my name is Britton Lockhart and I just wanted to stress that this is not an emergency, but I'm at the Franklin Chattahoochee boat ramp. I was doing some scuba diving down there, trash cleanup, and I came across a pistol and it has uh, tape all over it wrapped around it. So I just wanted to turn this into you guys. I'm in a Chevy Silverado 1500. My business stickers are on the side. It's called Depths of History. All right, so we're gonna wait for them to get here. I'm Britton. Hey, good to meet you. Yes, sir. We found a firearm. It's uh, taped up. It does have serial numbers on it, so potentially, you know, it could be linked to a crime. That's why we're obviously calling you guys to get it checked out. It's right, we kept it in the water because they were always told me to keep it in the water and not take it out, you know. <laughs> Uh, yes, actually, um, we've, so we've solved seven cold cases of uh, missing people in their vehicles underwater. And, you know, we've, we've teamed up with a lot of other uh, search teams and also FBI agencies. We, Georgia State Patrol, we went uh, to Lake Lanier to do some searches for bodies, you know, things like that. So, yeah, that's the problem. See, it's all taped up. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you have, like a magnet? That you no, so I just scuba dive on the bottom and I saw it laying there in the rocks. Oh, okay. So Yeah, we just pick up trash and you know, anything that we find. Okay. We found cell phones, returned them to the owners and stuff like that. That was fun, yeah. right there. Yeah. Probably that's the only thing you found being right here at the bridge if you could ride over. Yeah, the oh, it's really yeah. sandy, yeah. so um, a lot of the stuff probably washed a little bit. Right. Maybe a little it's bit. It's buried under sand. Yeah, we probably there, need a metal yeah. detector or something. Are there serial numbers on it? I didn't I didn't really get a good look. They'll be <laughs> well, you're not uh, finding that. <laughs> I'd get it back to the office and clean it up a little bit. I yeah. might be able to see it. Yeah. Nice. Another good spot would be on this dirt road. Okay. You know, the fallen dirt road all the way to the end. Yeah. Like a little fishing area right there. Okay. okay. So that yeah. might be a little good spot. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, well, yeah. Thanks for coming out, man. Yeah, appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah, I really appreciate, appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Great meeting you. Yes, sir. Oh, does he die? No. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, it's always awesome when we can have a good experience with the police and uh, they're leaving right now and they actually took the weapon of concern and they're gonna basically 
be able to determine if it's stolen. They might not be able to get ballistics off of it. It is an older firearm, but at least we were able to give it to them. If you guys enjoyed the video today, don't forget to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next video.